Present-day Slovenia was part of the Roman Empire until the 6th century, when Slavic tribes migrated to the Alpine area. In the next century, the ancestors of the Slovenes formed the independent Duchy of Carantania. In the mid-8th century, the Carantanians were incorporated into the Carolingian Empire. From the 11th century, the territories inhabited by the Slavs of Carantania were incorporated into the Holy Roman Empire. At the end of the 18th century, the Slovene lands were part of the French administered Illyrian provinces established by Napoleon. The 19th century saw a rise of a romantic nationalist quest for cultural and political autonomy. The idea of a united Slovenia first advanced during the revolutions of 1848. In the same period, Yugoslavism, an ideology stressing the unity of all South Slavic peoples, spread as a reaction to pan-German nationalism and Italian irredentism. During World War I, hundreds of thousands of Slovenes were drafted to the Austro-Hungarian army, and many of them died. Others were resettled in refugee camps in Italy and Austria. With the Treaty of Rapallo, part of the lands inhabited by Slovenes was incorporated in Italy. After the fascists took power in Italy, the Slovenes were subject to a policy of violent fascist Italianization. After the dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in the aftermath of the First World War, in 1918 was declared the establishment of the new state of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs. In 1929 it was renamed the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, the main territory of Slovenia being the most industrialized and westernized compared to other less developed parts of Yugoslavia, became the main center of industrial production. During World War II, the southern part of modern-day Slovenia was annexed to Italy, while the Nazis took over the northern and eastern parts of the country. In 1945, Yugoslavia was liberated by the partisan resistance and soon became a socialist federation known as the People's Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. This gave birth to the first Slovenian Republic, named Federal Slovenia. Hundreds of Eastern Italians and Slovenes that opposed communism were killed in the five massacres. Federal Yugoslavia was a socialist state, but because of the Tito-Stalin split in 1948, economic and personal freedoms were much broader than in the Eastern Bloc countries. A policy of gradual economic liberalization followed the failure of first collectivization that was attempted from 1949 to 1953. Yugoslav citizens were even allowed to travel to western countries and cross borders. In the 60s, Slovenia's domestic product was 2.5 times the average of Yugoslav republics. After Tito's death in 1980, Slovenians demanded more independence. In December 1990, 88% of the electorate voted for an independent Slovenia. On 25 June 1991, Slovenia became independent and in 2004 joined the European Union.